Okay, well, this is uh, day four of training. And today I'm going to try to do stops that are a little bit faster. Like stop a little bit harder. And also I'm not covering the front brake. I was given the tip that, you know, you don't want to panic when you cover that front brake, just in case, you know, you hit it and you, you kind of lose control. Again, feeling a lot more confident. It's a little bit chillier today. It's kind of raining a little bit earlier, but the roads dried up. I wouldn't really practice when it's wet since I'm still getting comfortable. Just gonna stop here. Okay, I think that was pretty good. And mirrors are looking good. Takeoff was a lot smoother. Got the horn there. Signals. Turns. Smoother throttle. really getting used to it now I also ordered some cones that I could use and, and put them down on the ground to practice go up this way Now there is a car pulling out, so it's kind of good, allows me to go slow. I was pretty happy with that. It's going to be a tighter turn here. Let's see if I can put it up. Put my foot down on that. That's okay though. I'll come back and try it when the Amazon truck's not up there. It's a little bit tighter than, than I wanted it to be. Now we're going the other way here. Now I'll put the shield down. There we go. The cold air was hitting me. Push and Lean the bike there a little bit. A lot more comfortable. Let's see if I can turn around here. I might just come back and uh, do a couple of circles there. You'll probably see it from the first video to this one on just how much my comfort level increased.
Yep, I'm feeling pretty good. I think the next time I'll go up that hill, do a turn. I'm also getting used to the uh, just turn thing over these gloves. It was just a little bit harder for me to, to get to them and feel them. But, you know, right now I'm able to kind of feel them a little bit better. And I think I got really good with the mirrors. I feel comfortable with the mirrors. I was able to do uh, some 360s there, which is good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop right here in the shield. I got to double check my vents because my shield actually is fogging up and I'm not sure why Just gonna double check, you know, the, the vents and stuff on this helmet. I'll go to the the top. I'll actually wait a little bit. Hey, I'll just turn around here. this way I'll do a stop up here just right here yep that was good I'll do another one up here That was good as well. At least for me, it, it's good. It's only day four of me practicing. And just in four days, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm gonna turn the, let me see, I've been turning a lot of lefts. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna do the right turns. Because obviously, you know, you wanna practice both ways. So right now I've been doing a lot of uh, lefts when I'm doing a U-turn or like I did those 360s. So that's my next thing that I'll, I'll practice. cars here so I'm just gonna do it 
I have to go. Actually, I'll do it at the the top there because I'll have to be on the opposite side of the road. So I think if I go up here where there is no cars, it'll be a little bit safer for me. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do that turn on the opposite way. That's pretty good. A little bit wider than I wanted. That was my first time doing it going right. I've been doing a lot of it going left. Let me do another one down here. Again, it's I have to be on the opposite side just to practice. So, you know, but a good thing is like right now we have no cars. That was the second one I did, so that was pretty good. Go up here and do it again. And I didn't put my feet down at all. Just trying to make sure I'm doing proper counterweight. And then because this is an auto throttle, you know, scooter, you have to really kind of be steady on the throttle. You uh, don't have the luxury of having the clutch, but you know, you could use your rear brake uh, to drag it a little bit. One thing is obviously, you know, I don't want to have the front brake on when I'm turning, right? Because that's how you lose control. So I'm keeping off uh, my hand off the front brake. No cars behind me, so we'll do another turn going the other way. Well, let's just do a circle. Oops. Put my foot down. Alright, so we're gonna get going again here. Alright, so let's try that. A little bit, you know, wobbly going that way. So I'm going to try that again. I didn't like the way that looked. So I'll go to that spot and I'll do that turn again. Going right. Well, the good thing is all these other turns are looking pretty easy now for me. Alright. Let's go up there. And we will try it. There's no cars behind me. No cars there, so let's try this. Let's stay on the um, accelerator, so I have traction. There's one circle. Let's see if I can make. That's two. Let's see if I can 
get the third one in. Yep. So I did three. And I believe in the MSS course, MSF course, those are gonna be tighter. What do you guys think? How's my practice today? Am I doing okay? If I could get into the habit of using my turn signals a lot more, I'll be a lot happier. But that's the kind of the beauty of learning in, in the neighborhood is because you, uh, I'd rather make the mistakes here versus on the, on a busy street. So I'm gonna go back up here and do the U-turn uh, going left. For, for me, for some reason, the left is um, seems a lot easier than the right, and I'm not sure why that is. Let's see. Yep, I did pretty good on that. Let's try the horn. I'm always trying the horn. You know, I'm not going to turn, I'm going to go all the way down. I've been easily doing 20 miles per hour in this neighborhood. I know that's not fast, um, which is good, great for me. I'm also looking definitely where I want to go. I have been watching a, you know, a lot of videos online and you know putting it into practice. I follow a couple of people that have been riding for quite some time and I have some good tips to follow. What do you say we do a turn going this way that I'm not comfortable with? Just keep on the accelerator. Maybe I'll do a circle. Ah, I did a circle. Pretty good. Let's do a stop. I'm going to do a stop up here. Just like pretend if a kid got out in front of me yep they would stop obviously get faster speeds uh, you know you gotta stop even faster I mean, I would go a little bit faster here, but it's not safe. Obviously, um, you know, we have cars that pull out all the time here. You always want to be safe. I didn't like that turn back there because I was covering the front brake and I don't want to do that, you know, when I'm turning. 
So right now, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll cover the back, but I'm not going to be turning really fast to where I need to do a emergency stop with the front brake. I don't think. I purposely went a little bit faster there. So guys, that's gonna be my training for the day. I'm trying to keep these videos and lessons uh, short. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. Give me some tips and pointers. Other than that, I wanna thank you guys very much and have yourself a great day.